My dissertation traces the history of the study of contemporary literature in the university from the late 19th century to the present. I demonstrate why the subject of contemporary literature remained controversial for several decades and illustrate the historical forces that allowed it to become legitimated as a field of teaching and scholarship. This video presents a condensed anecdotal narrative of that history. In 1895, William Lyon Phelps, a 30-year-old professor in Yale's English department, gave the first course on contemporary fiction in American history. Although the class was immensely popular, drawing 250 students and 50 auditors, Phelps was not allowed to teach the course again, as more traditional faculty members objected to what they took to be frivolous and undemanding material. This bias against contemporary literature remained in effect until the end of World War II, when the combination of the GI Bill, increased public funding, and America's rise in global power led to a rapid expansion of the higher education system and a more diverse student body. With the mass hiring of young professors and the influx of first-generation students, English departments began to accept that contemporary fiction proved a far more popular and accessible subject for general education courses. At Purdue University, Maurice Beebe and a group of other new faculty members formed the Modern Fiction Club and eventually Modern Fiction Studies, the first scholarly journal in the field. The traditional curriculum proved harder to change at elite institutions like Columbia, however. In 1968, hundreds of students at Columbia University demanded that the school offer more relevant courses, contemporary literature among them. Although the school capitulated, student radicalism was blamed in part on the apocalyptic influence of modern culture. By incorporating contemporary literature into the curriculum, administrators like Daniel Bell believed that the subversive energies of such works could be contained and ameliorated. From the 70s on, contemporary literature has secured a place in the curriculum, though not without challenges which the rest of my project examines.